The Fed must essentially and drastically cut down U.S. economic growth. It's kind of like being tortured by pouring water. The Federal Reserve hiked interest rates four times in 2022 in an effort to slow the American economy and contain inflation. But now, the Fed is aiming for something that could be even more pleasant for everyday Americans. A growth recession. Fed Chair Jerome Powell stated on Friday that the U.S. economy will undoubtedly face some pain as the central bank continues its battle with inflation. That might mean that the Federal Reserve has given up on the idea of a soft landing and now acknowledges that a growth recession is required to a lower inflation. So what is a growth recession? Well, the truth is, it's more of a slowdown than a true recession. In order to get inflation back to its target of 2%, the Fed must essentially and drastically cut down the U.S. economic growth. It's kind of like being tortured by pouring water. I am asking questions now. But it's not as terrible and torturous as a rapid recession. Even still, given the European energy crisis that continues heat waves, the Fed may need to go a step farther. What possible effects may a growth recession have on us Americans? Well, the declines in business and consumer confidence surveys, the fall of the conference board's leading economic index for the United States, the drop of housing indicators, and all of these indicators taken together now appear to be falling in line with previous recessions in the United States. Nearly half of adult Americans in the United States have already cut back on discretionary spending in preparation for a severe economic crisis. How can the Fed land the growth recession? Demand must be slowed by the central bank, but not necessarily eliminated. Additionally, the Fed uses interest rates to manage demand, in this case, raising it. A hard landing isn't inevitable. It's still too early to tell if the Fed will be successful in its tightening cycles because monetary policy takes time to take effect on the actual economy. Whether the United States enters a true recession, a growth recession, or avoids a recession entirely remains to be seen. But there are strong signals that the US economy's country's strength is fading. I believe the Fed has more work to do to get inflation under control. This will necessitate additional rate hikes to tighten financial conditions resulting in an economic transition to below trend growth in nominal output, slower employment growth, and higher unemployment rate. We will notice a huge slowdown in the U.S. economy, which will ripple down to the working class person.